$70 billion industry, and violent games consistently top sales charts, according to the games like Grand Theft Auto V, called Real World Battles. Just this shows that so many people around the country have a positive thought on all video games, including violent ones. On the other hand, many people say that playing violent video games can be related to the number of crimes, which may be true. However, essential facts about games and violence by the Entertainment Software Association makes clear that during the 90s, the number of gun-related crimes plummeted while video games became more widespread and people played them more. Violent video games are good because they can be a source of enjoyment, are safe because they're directed for the more older and mature people, and decrease the number of crimes and murders. When many outgoing people are bored or have nothing to do, they go to violent video games for fun. For example, Hajin Shootout, written by Guy Martin, states that Killer, the last man standing game of water pistol ambush, has become a key end of the year ritual in several New York City high schools. This role playing game imitates the violent video games that people might play for pleasure. The students enjoy the video games so much that they decide to turn this tradition almost into real life. In addition, the article Violent Video Games May Stop Crime by Keeping Criminals Busy Playing Violent Video Games reveals that the recent releases of the Xbox One and PS4 keep millions of gamers glued to their seats. If millions of people are playing violent video games, then surely they are a great source of enjoyment for people. People complain that violent video games are too violent for certain people to play. This is proved by the great games like Grand Theft Auto V Cause Real World Violence by Eric Lee. He explains that Grand Theft Auto V can be viewed as a torture simulator or strip club simulator. Obviously, this kind of content is not meant for young children, so we know that violent video games are made for more older and mature people. The article Essential Facts about Games and Violence also suggests this. It includes that entertainment industries are curtailing the marketing of mature rated products to children, which means that people who enjoy these games are old enough to. Violent video games are good because these games are only meant for people who in age and maturity can handle it. The United States of America has by far the most gun-related murders than any other country according to the chart from Washington Post's Max Fisher, included in the article written by Eric Kane, The Daily Nation. Some people say that all of these murders are caused by vicious and uncontrollable video games. However, the chart also illustrates that a country's video game spending is less than those of other countries, which means that there is no correlation between crimes and violent video games. Also agreeing to this, Benedict Carey, author of Shooting in the Dark, reveals that a third to a half of 80% of high school age boys have had a habit of 10 hours of, video, of violent video gaming or more. Many people are addicted and stay at home to play their captivating video games, which keeps them out of trouble and crime. This would only decrease the amount of murders happening because people are glued to their games. Crimes cannot be blamed on violent video games, which only proves that they aren't bad for people. Some people argue that violent video games have absolutely no positive effect on people and just make them even worse than before. Many may think this, but it is not true. For instance, in the game Killer, earlier mentioned, people had to creatively and effectively plan ways to kill people. The article states, the idea was to use a cell phone to call the Cohen's landline, posing as Cohen's teammate Dominic, using Dominic's call ID. It had been engineered from a remote computer by a squad member with prodigious hacking skills. This proves that people are applying important skills acquired from video game playing to real life. Students must strategically think and plan according to what they are playing. This clearly shows that video games are, in fact, affecting their positive video game players in, are affected in a positive way. There are many reasons that violent video games are okay for certain people to play. They are, set, they are fun to play in leisure time, have age-appropriate ratings, and do not have a correlation with the number of crimes. Of course, there have been many studies that show that people who play video games are more aggressive. However, this is not the case in real life. I used to think that violent video games were bad for all people, but now I firmly believe that these games do not leave a negative effect on video game players. In the future, violent video games should not be cur curtailed because of content or for any other reason, because considering how money makes